where we know they've achieved great things. Trust me, Julia, we will honor you. Sign up to, to follow what's going on and perhaps marry Julia in the future. We have a, a mailing list just over so, here. Because if we have a little wind, where's the wind? Hello, hello, hello. Okay. I'm ready and you'll be. Okay. I need no delay. Can I? Could you do lorry first? Uh, yeah, and then, then me. Gathering to remember Julio, and uh, there is also a petition, there is a level of protest. What's the meaning of all these actions? I think there are a few things we want to achieve. First of all, it's first and foremost just to remember Julio and, and pay tribute to him um, as a person. You know, many of us are colleagues of his, friends of his. A few people here who never even met him but have been touched by his story. I really want to show solidarity with his family and with his friends. But secondly, I think the purpose of us being here is really to, to show that you know this kind of activity of silencing researchers, of uh, preventing academic freedom, really can't succeed and can't go on anymore. Obviously, the details of what happened to Julio are still unclear, but we really hope uh, and we really kind of are expecting that a full investigation will take place into his death. Uh, do you think also the uh, British authorities should be involved in any way in this case? Absolutely. I mean, Julio spent 10 years of his life here. He studied in Cambridge, he worked in Oxford, he studied and worked elsewhere. And I think the amount of people here is testament to his strong connections to the UK. As a student based in Cambridge in the UK, researching there, I think in Cairo, I think the UK government has a responsibility to really uh, follow up this investigation and make sure it's full, uh, fair and independent. Do you have any personal recollections? I think with Julio, he was a few years older than me at work, he was actually my, my immediate boss just above me, and really he... In Oxford? In Oxford, that's right. Um, and really he was just full of good humour, full of encouragement and enthusiasm, and also, you know, a very curious uh, and inquisitive person. Um, even when we were working in different countries, he would email me to ask me about what I thought about British politics or what I thought about this event around the world. So that deep curiosity, I think, and enthusiasm for, for the world, and especially the Arab world in particular. Because I interviewed Neil Pfeiffer. Oh, can you say again your name? Sorry. Yes, Lawrence Blair. Purtroppo parlavano a bassa voce e non c'era un, un allo adeguato, però questa è la commemorazione 
per Giulio Regeni che è stato trovato morto al Cairo nell'ultima nell settimana di, Sabra, di gennaio. E le cause del, della sua morte sono ancora poco chiare e non si capisce cosa sia successo per scatenare questa sorta di cortocircuito tra le relazioni eh, egiziane. Eh, tra l'altro Giulio era una persona molto impegnata, molto conosciuta nell'ambito delle università qui eh, nel dintorno di Londra eh, e quindi è sotto una posizione che eh, hanno chiesto una petizione per fare chiarezza, per chiedere chiarezza al governo UK sulle cause della morte di Giulio, chi, chi c'è dietro la morte di Giulio del Geni. Eh, tra l'altro Giulio qua verrà ricordato oltre che qua davanti all'ambasciata italiana, ci eh, sono tutti i fratelli della RAI eccetera, ma altre organizzazioni, altre, altre mh, iniziative sono state prese da un giovane dei suoi colleghi universitari e quindi di Oxford, di Cambridge, tutti quelli che hanno collaborato con lui in passato perché vogliono stringersi attorno alla famiglia e perché vogliono eh, sapere insomma, cosa sia successo realmente.